Yo, welcome. Yo, I know what you guys might be thinking. Where's the next Boneworks VR episode? Don't worry, just Portal Reload has just come out. I really wanted to play it, and I'm really interested in getting into the game. So, sit tight. The next episode will come out soon. We're just going to have two series going on at the same time. Anyway, let's resume. This is uh, weird content I never really make. Y'all are used to seeing me in VR, but today is a little different. This time around, because today we are playing Portal Reloaded. Been looking forward to this game. And I thought, hey, let's go ahead and make a video on it too. And so here we are. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get on into it. And hope you guys enjoy the ride. Hello, test subject. Four, five, zero, nine. You have been in stasis for... Sixteen days and... Four decades. Welcome to the Aperture Science Long-Term Human Storage Vault. You have been selected to take part in a very special testing course. Federal regulations require us to inform you that the testing ahead may result in slight cases of sore throat or blurry vision or death. If you experience any of the aforementioned side effects, please do not hesitate to write them down in your test report. This vacuum tube will take you to your testing area. You will be further instructed there. Good luck. Welcome to the Enrichment Center. These automated messages will guide you through your test today. The door in front of you is programmed to open in approximately 20 years. This test can be solved in two different ways. Option one, wait patiently. Option two, time travel to the future. The choice is yours. However, if you prefer time travel, the Enrichment Center will provide you the means to pursue that option. The time portal will open and testing will begin in 3, 2, 1. Whoa, okay, whoa. So, this is all just based on time. Sensors indicate that you have not yet stepped through the time portal. Um, all right, let's go on through. You have still not... Welcome to the future. Time traveling through portals will be an essential part of this testing course. In order to help you distinguish between the present and the future, this part of the Enrichment Center has been left untouched for the last... 20 years. You may see some signs of decay. Don't worry. The Enrichment Center is designed to withstand centuries without proper maintenance. Find a way to exit the chamber. Um, alright. Welcome. Let's, uh, let's see. Where do I need to go? Um, alright. Let's see. Okay. 
20 years in the future? Right. This is already getting insane. Oh, oh shoot, okay. Oh. Welcome back to the wow. present. If you are ever unsure which timeline you're in, simply observe your environment. The present should always look a bit cleaner than the future. <laughs> all right, all right. Wow, the button's not even there either. Okay. Wow. There we go. Now that was, that's the end of that. Let's this Aperture test. Science Test Subject Teleportation Device will dematerialize your body and rematerialize it in the next chamber. This process is absolutely safe. Oh. Usually. What? No, I can I try? <laughs> this is amazing. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, cubes over These here. next chambers will involve cube and button-based testing with the perks of time travel. Okay. Wow. A cube placed in the present will appear in the same position in the future. Moving a cube in the present will automatically update the location of the same cube in the future. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. Wow, okay. I'm, okay, whoa. That's insane. But if I bring it from the past to the future. Nice try. But bringing a present cube to the future violates the laws of causality and is therefore impossible. All right, I can respect that. Oh wow, you can tell it's like, oh, wow, look at that. It's like it's an old cube and clearly seen. This is a new cube here too. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Yo. So we gotta get on the other side of that. Ah, uh, I know what to do, and that is, oh, that is clever. Look at the rooms, too. Wow, okay, like, a direct mirror of it, too. Just much older and run down. Oh, you can hear the nature outside, too. Wow, okay. And you can just hear it echo. Oh my god, this is amazing. Okay, so we bring it over here from what I can, what I'm thinking. And you can just walk on through here. Wow! This future okay. version of the cube can be moved freely without affecting its counterpart in the present. It will stay wherever you leave it as long as the present cube's destiny is not altered in any way. Cool, cool. Good. Please continue to the next chamber. Well, what if I go to the... Oh, no, never mind. That's still pretty neat. I like that. Sweet. Understanding Whoa. the concept of cause and effect will be vital to solving the upcoming tests. Simply put, everything you do in the present has an impact on the future, but not the other way around. I already knew that. That's the laws of time travel. I wonder what paradoxes we can create. That'll be fun. Ooh. Oh, hey. Ah, uh, just barely assembling itself. Alrighty, let's go ahead and do this. Place it on here. Okay. Hmm. Is that? Hmm. That's there. But this is here. Can I bring from the future? 
to the pass. Is that? Whoa. Okay. 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 Whoa. Whoa. Okay. All right. That's amazing. Good thinking. While it is impossible to bring a present cube to the future, this clever trick allows you to have two versions of the same cube in one timeline. This will prove to be very useful in future chambers. What if I make them touch? Can this break reality? Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Thank goodness that would have been that would have been terrible. <laughs> Let's see. Looking back, all right. Now we're all good. Let's continue on. Whoa. Okay. If I press the, I'll be on that. Oh. If I go up here. Pretty awesome. I'll say that right now. That's really awesome. Alright. What if I press this again? Oh no. Okay. Oh, but I get a. No, this is still an old one. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Oh, I see. Okay. How would one go on about this now? Let's see. Oh, you know what? I got it. I got just the idea. Oh, man. All right. Let's see. Let's see this. That, okay, that, that's amazing. Wow, okay, all right, let's, let's get on and do it. Man, okay, that is... Always remember, if you change the destiny of an object in the present, the future version of that object will be affected as well. If this sounds too complicated, you're in luck. The next chamber will only heavily rely on your understanding of this very basic concept. Oh man, I lo I'm loving this already, dude. Like, what? Like, we're, we're time traveling, yo. Oh. Just a second, I don't know if this will work the way I want it to. If I Alright, 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 alright. I'm I'm over I was overthinking it there. We can just simply move this one. Wait, no. Maybe I'm not overthinking it. Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on. Let's bring this one back to the past. Right, and if I place this one here, okay, what's up here? Okay, that one is okay, so they both have to be activated. Ah, let me 
just drink this. No, that's not how that works. Okay, I'm gonna be here for a little bit, trying to think outside the box. Or attempting to, at least. I see I can do that, but that does not affect the past, though. That's the thing. It doesn't. So how does one go on about this? I think I got it. I think I got it. Let's put that up there. And then let's go ahead and go back to the past. And let's move this one downward. No, I don't know if that's how it work. Right? No, because I'm just affecting the future, not the past. That's the thing. <laughs> Wait, no. Wait. Hold on. No, I'm on to it. Hold on. If I bring the one from the future to the past and put it on here, and if I walk up all the way over here and release this, that one's now activated. This one's... The Let's go. Good. By now, you hopefully understand the concept of cause and effect and how cubes behave in different timelines. Now, let's move on to something more interesting. Cool, cool. Oh man, this is getting amazing by the minute. <laughs>